What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey and whiskey type related stuff, please consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Elijah Craig Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. Elijah Craig has expanded to another American whiskey category, rye whiskey, with the release of the Elijah Craig Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. This straight rye whiskey is made as a traditional American straight rye whiskey with a 51% rye mash bill that relies heavily on corn as a secondary grain instead of a higher percentage of rye. This has been the primary rye mash bill used by Kentucky bourbon distilleries since virtually taking over all American rye production post-prohibition. The Elijah Craig Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey is now currently hitting the shelves in North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Oregon. This Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey is a Heaven Hill product that is non-age stated. It has a mash bill of 51% rye, 35% corn, and 14% malted barley, an ABV of 47%, 94 proof, with an MSRP of around $30. Let's check out the bottle for a second. This bottling here should be a familiar sight for most. It is the standard Elijah Craig bottling. The only thing they have changed is the labeling. It is green now. It's green labeling here, green labeling on the side, and around the stem of the neck, it does say rye whiskey right here, and it has a green labeling around the stem of the neck of the bottle. The top of the cork is still solid wood, and the cork is synthetic. Nothing much changed with the bottle, just the labeling. With that being said, let's get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. Dark guys on the color. The color of this one is a light copper. I'm gonna let it coat the glass a little bit, just so we can see how viscous and oily the whiskey is. It does seem to be clinging to the glass fairly well. Got nice legs. They are running kind of quickly, so it's not super viscous, but it does have a nice viscosity that is clinging to the glass fairly well. Nice viscosity on the whiskey. Let's get into the nose. It's got a nice herbal sense to it. Like a rye bread. Some black pepper. It's a very approachable nose. It's not jumping out of the glass. Some vanillas and caramels. A nice black pepper note. And the rye essence that I'm picking up is like a rye bread. Yeah, a bready note, a rye bready note is definitely present. And I'm also getting that Heaven Hill nutty characteristic on the nose. A little bit of oak, not much of an oak note, but it's a nice, soft, subtle oak note on the nose. Once again, it's very, very approachable. Vanillas and caramels. I may even be getting a little bit like an orange zest. And it does have an herbal sense to it. It's like a, like almost like an herbal tea. Black pepper. And a yeasty, like rye bread note on the nose. And that nutty characteristic of the, the Heaven Hill Distillery characteristic is definitely shining through on the nose. Once again on the nose, nice rye spice, but it's coming across like a yeasty, bready, rye bread note, vanillas, caramels, a little bit of a citrus zest, that Heaven Hill nutty characteristic, and that a little bit of a soft and subtle oak note. Very approachable nose. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Coating the mouth nicely. Not super oily and super viscous, but it is coating the mouth nicely. I would say the finish is medium, middle of the road finish. And on the first sip, I did get a little bit of vanilla and it's finishing off in like a rye bread, vanilla, citrus, pepper note on the first sip. Very nice first sip. It's going for a second. Cheers. Second sip, 
vanilla caramel from the palate. Mid palate, a little baking spice or citrus zest. And I am picking up a little bit of that Heaven Hill nutty characteristic as the finish is going. And it's finishing off like a rye bread, citrus, vanilla note. And a little black pepper. Nice second sip. It's going for a third. Cheers. Very consistent sips from the palate once again. Caramel vanilla, mid palate, some citrus zest, a little bit of that nutty characteristic, that Heaven Hill Distillery nutty characteristic. And I'm also picking up some black pepper, a rye bread, and some citrus zest on the finish. Very approachable whiskey, very easy sipper. Let's get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts on the Elijah Craig Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. Guys, I think it's a good solid pour of rye whiskey for the $30 price range. Do I think it is something that is gonna satisfy those who are diehard rye fans? Probably not, it doesn't have that drama, it doesn't have that aggressive slap you around rye, but I think it would be a great beginner's rye. And for the $30 price range, It'd be a great mixer also. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap this up. I thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers.